Greetings and welcome back to AI War 2, Strategic Sage here. This episode I am planning to trigger the Dark Zenith Beacon. We do have some matters to attend to first though. We've got a couple of large waves coming in. This is probably going to be pretty standard for now, if not bigger, 450 to 500 strength. We had a CPA hit recently, and that was about 265 strength. Not that big at all. They're really running out of guards to send our way. Threat, of course, is quite high at the moment, over 1,000. With a lot of the interconnectedness and they're you know, doing all of their wormhole boring and everything else, we've been having some fleets more and more with trouble pathing through safely to get everywhere I need to go. So I've started marking some planets as off limits. I don't normally do that, but it's turned out to be pretty important in this game. Here in Ascus, if we just right click the name, that turns it off, turns it back on. The red ring means that my fleets will not go through that planet at all. And I, I've also done some reorganizing. We have gotten rid of all the ships from our standard uh, transports and move them into the super weapons. So the botnet wannabe here, Thanatos, has the Spartacus, uh, the tutelar tank from the FRS, then the three pulsars to benefit from that hull boost. And all of those are in here defending against some of the CPA attack. Then we have the Space Turtle, aka the Nidorian Tortoid, has the Ethereal Cruiser and a bunch of frigates. I'm going to be adding another FRS ship to this one but we haven't done that yet. I did also hit those distribution nodes I mentioned, by the way. Then the Retribution Golem has come over here to defend the major data center that's about to be under attack. And that's got the Trailblazer Cruiser, my favorite one of the three that we have, and then everything else that we have available. So let's pop in here and see how our defense makes out. And here we go. Let's just sort of block it off right in this area. And they have Retribution Guardians, Dark Mirrors, Pulsar Tanks, and Vanguards. All ships that are fairly difficult to get rid of. So that's going to be a whole bunch of fun. In here, the other defense, well, we've got a bunch of Dark Spire that are just going to take some time again. And then there's also variety of nanocost ships. Now they're outnumbering us in both of those for the moment, but I think we'll be okay. And then over here, the Thanatos with the Spartacus cruiser doing its multi-phasing. You know what, I think I'm going to... Yeah, we're getting some Hunter in here. Let's go ahead and trigger the outguard. And I've decided I want to switch this system over to military with the amount of force that we have coming in on some of these waves. But one of the more recent things that's happened is we can't just do that now. If I were to try, basically it's pinned until we clear out the enemies. Okay, what do we have down here? Oh, hold on. We have a, a dire widow. Let's get rid of you. Oh, and we have a hunter seeker too. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be painful if we don't knock you down. Please go away. It's it's not really doing actually that much damage to our shields at the moment. So this may be alright. But still a little extra drama. Okay. Lost some turrets in there. We have more fun coming in here, really, of all types. But we are outnumbering them at the moment. What about... We're doing much better in the other, other areas. Let's load you up. See if we can get the Thanatos back here. My pleasure. So is there anything... Yeah, I think, I think we're going to... First of all, we're going to get you here. That'll be a, a one safe spot. You see a Black Widow Golem. The Warden is floating around dangerously. What about in here? Are you ready to come out? I think we're pretty good here. You go ahead and load up. 
and you join us over here. Just help us knock some of this out. Ah, uh, here come our friends, the Svicari. That should, that should handle this fairly quickly. Thanatos, okay, you've made it part of the way. But I don't want you heading down here. That's for sure. Let's go this way. Let's make sure you go the way I want you to. Okay, that's not bad. Got some activity over there, but not too much. Okay. Yeah, you're in here. And there's some ships in Ergo, but we're cleaning this up. This looks like this is going to be done soon. Excellent. Just waiting to wrap the last little bits up. Well executed defense. You can see our retribution golem took some hits for sure, but... It survived. Okay. We're going to go next door. That's where the FRS is that I want. In the meantime, we're going to switch over to military in here. So while they're cleaning that out, I'm going to build my extra toys that I now get in here. And of course, they're going to repair the existing ones as well. Let's see, let's throw these beams right here in the middle. Forget about the ambush turrets, that should be good. Assault frigates as well, for the military systems. Okay, everything is well in here. You can come in... You're not actually over here quite yet. Okay, you can come up this way. Make your way there eventually. All right, Space Turtle, time for you to hack. I want you to get the ship here. And we could go with the Pulsar tank again, or it could have gone somewhere else that has a more attack bonus type of effect, but I'm going with the MLRS Corvette. Getting both hull and shield boost is always very nice for frigates. And all of a sudden it's quiet. A whole lot of nothing going on at the moment, which is just fine with me. Well, I'll have to deal with that miner eventually, we'll worry about that later. But we have our new ships available. Excellent. Load up. And then we're going to head off to our next joyful fun time, which is I want more energy. We're down to about... It's 500, 600 K. I'm going to want some for my turrets, etc. And normally hacking an outguard isn't that useful for that type of situation. But in this case, it's the Zenith Trader. Okay. Everybody out. Looks like there was at least a shredder in here. Oh, uh, there still is. Very nicely done. Okay, still a whole lot of nothing. Still about a thousand threat, though. That's not particularly great. So, thankfully, only five AI progress for the... Zenith Trader. 
And if we can keep everybody up here and hammer on this, we should handle it very routinely. Let's check out where that... Not seeing the miner, I'm sure it's around. Okay, it's here. It's not one we actually currently have under surveillance. There's a magnifier in there. We're not planning on going over there much. I may just ignore that one. I've got a lot of other things going on. I may just ignore it. How are we doing? Looks like there's quite a bit coming in here. Yeah. So this is a fun bunch of strike force. Are we going to need help? Got a few dyers. You know what? Let me just load up Thanatos and come back here. Because I don't like the way this is looking. Look at that dire widow hanging about. They've got a Tethwita. Okay, that's going to be fun. Hmm. Let me send the space turtle out that way. So all of a sudden, we're getting to divide up once more. Let's send you. See if we can get you into Delta Kappa first. Okay. Then our retribution can continue finishing up this hack. And get into Malignus, help me out, please. There we go. Yeah, let's let's get rid of this. We're in trouble. Oh yeah, th th this is not looking good at all. Probably gonna lose this system temporarily. And then they went into Ergo, which is fine. But let's see if we can hang out. Yeah, just the Exo Strike Forces that we're getting, just too many at once. Okay. This is about to finish. How is our turtle doing? still in here probably because it was the one that commenced the hack okay I'd wait for that to finish so now we will move you should have been more careful about who I had do it all right now yes yes won't this be fun let's make sure everything is okay And then we're also going to pull in, you know what, they're on our home world. We'll hit another outguard here. We're going to hit the Zenith Trader as well, because the only thing I really want right now is the power generator. We'll worry about everything else at another time. And then let's finish this up. There's, there's enough force in here. I've got to leave Retribution in here. Oh, well, there's an instigator base going there, too. Looks like we're going to have to visit that system. Okay, looks like we've... We're doing pretty well here. You can just sort of retreat to the force field. How about... Okay, you're making your way through. Fighting continues everywhere. And they are in trouble. 
We are on our way, but it's going to take some time for us to get there. I think we'll pop back into Malignus. And we may very well lose that system. That would be okay if we did temporarily. Sakari even helping out in here, but these... Lovely Dark Spire ships. They don't go down fast. How's our Space Turtle doing? Well, it's trying to get through to Delta Kappa. It's being harassed. There we go. Now it should be able to get in. And let's see how this goes. We are not looking good at the moment. But that may change. Definitely giving it a better fight now, in any case. Okay, I think we're done here. Looks like everything is fine on the home front. We got some Dark Spire on uh, Delta Kappa. And in here... Yeah, we've chased a bunch of them off. Okay. I think we need to deal with that instigator next. Let's see. Let's send our support fleet nearby. We should be able to get close. Because this is a cleared out system. So unless this, is a dis unless this is a complete disaster in here, I'm guessing it's probably not. We should be fine. I'm going to load up the Thanatos and have you join. Absolutely, sir. That's a Warden Fleet one. Have we cleared this out? Just about. Okay. Back we go. Since there is a magnifier in there, I'm going to wait till everybody's ready here, though. That is both the uh, both Thanatos and the Retribution. I want to have everybody unloaded and ready to hit it. It'll trigger once, but if we can keep it to once, I'm going to be happy. We are on our way. We're just taking a little bit of time. And... We appear to not quite have this built yet. How are we doing on our... Okay, it's partway there. It'll get there. I'm happy with that. And with our metal trying to recover, we pretty much, I think, are okay not getting too crazy here in terms of being in a hurry. Okay. Let's take the plunge. We want to knock this out and probably knock this and probably just get out. Oh, good. Yay. You can go back where you were. And knock that out. Let's see what we have. All right. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, that was fun. Now we're leaving. As many of us as I can are leaving. That's 
good enough. Everybody else. Very nice. We'll come back there if we need to. Okay, next on the agenda. Well, I mean, the threat is gradually lowering down. I want to take this system because I want to grab this ODSS from some additional defenses. And let's check back in with our turtle. Very nice. Why don't you just quickly knock this out? This seems to be like the only system they care about when it comes to building more Dark Spire. Let's go get it. Blow it up. Yes. And we'll work our way back. new planet under our control and then I want to just send retribution next door because I'd like to clear out whatever's in here it's a mark 5 system keep the other fleet in here the Thanatos along with you Force fields, if you please. Let's make sure this is going okay. Jabberwalk type fun. But no problems being had. Alright. Let's do some hacking. So, got to actually get the right ship for it. We could go after the V-Wing drone hangers. I like the way that they help slow a bunch of ships down. But I have focused on the minefields. It's time to start getting that to pay off. Area minefields are nice. But the ambush post being marked 6, being in the ambush and minefield category, should help us. And I don't really like to use their disguise ability so much. I like the ambush drones. But I don't like to use the disguise ability because that would move... You know, if we put them around different places in the system to divert the AI, that just keeps them away from our turret. So I'm going to use them more as traditional minefields. Nonetheless, let's get those. And load up here. Let's see about moving you back somewhere useful. Can you make it all the way back to here? Where are you trying to go route from? Right we will see. Looks like the path is clear. Is finished. Excellent. Let's do it again. And you are still clearing this out. Okay, we can get more ambush posts. We can get tachyon arrays, boo. Or corruption minefields. Now, these have already been reduced once, but they're cloaked. You see they've got damage amplification. They've got zombification, air of effect. They're definitely a very nice addition to the minefield toolkit. And I may boost exotic one more time now that I have these. We'll see about that. Let's definitely get those. And I should actually be building... If no other reason than as a distraction, my turret's in here. So let's get that done.
Malignus is coming. Okay, all of this is good. You can move back in. Space Turtle, you just go to Malignus. And you help this out. That will deal with that problem. And that is not our concern. Okay, now, do we want to go a third time here is my question. I mean, we've got plenty of hacking at the moment. Hmm. Drone Garrison. Interesting. They do five times damage if it's under a force field. It's pretty short range, though. Can only be built in command stations. The reactive dummies always like that reflective ability. But the drone stockade is more interesting to me. It's boosted by logistical and station keepers that we've both invested in those. And also, anything underneath it can shoot out without it having the damage reduced. You can see the strength of it, 1.4 million. I'm going to go with that. I think that's worth, again, the, the hacking is not that much. If I put that over a bunch of my turrets, that should be very effective. And then while that's going on, let's get fun trying to fit them in with the battle here, but... Two tachyons. And then I'm going to try to fit in all these other things that we have. First of all, the drone stockade is going to put that over my turrets here wherever I can. The ambush post, just going to use these as regular. Corruption mines. And then we can also put up our paralysis mines that we have always had. So I've got some interesting choices looking forward in terms of what I want to invest in for the techs here. We are about to get hit in Malignus, but we are set for that. And I want to get all of these new ambush posts and mines and stockades up on all of my planets. And then we'll have another fun outguard hack to do. Ended up in a considerable hole metal-wise. But while I was building my way out of that, we had another CPA coming, of course. And then in here, there was some interesting fighting between the AI and the Dark Spire. So it seems they don't want to leave each other alone. And this battle raged on for quite some time. Oh, there we go. 300 strength. And you can see, only Mark IV and Mark VI, they just don't have much left to choose from to send it at us. So, we fight off the CPA, we continue to grind our way out of the metal hole, and proceed onward. And then there is this outguard hack, which is what I was trying to get to. And this is brought to you courtesy of a bug, because right now... You've probably seen some of it already. Uh, the AI types are spawning ships that shouldn't belong to them because they're spawning some of the ship types that other AIs get, like the Jabberwock. And so the ones that get extra ship types, they're sort of donating them to the other AIs that aren't supposed to have access. And the first time I tried this hack, I freely admit I failed because of that. Because they like to spawn a lot of Spire stuff, especially destroyers, on this one. So I had to really build up quite a bit more and that's part of the reason why the time is as long as it is it's actually almost an hour game time from when I began this episode but hopefully this will be worth the wait for it and the reason for this is I want the void callers because they're a very unique one I think they might be very useful against the dark zenith you know their ability to attack basically with crushing gravity in a system that we're not even in that should be really nice. And I think it's worth the risk and buildup of doing this. So, here we go. Are we ready for this? And actually, the first time I did it, they crippled my 
uh, retribution very quickly. So this one, I'm actually not diving in like I normally would to immediately attack them. Of course, I built all of the ambush posts and the corruption mines up along here, and you can see there are various the ambush drones going out. Unfortunately, all these mines not lasting very long, but still, gave them more things to shoot at. And so the idea here is the combination of the multi-phase from the Spartacus and just stupid amounts of firepower. I've got a bunch of plasma, a bunch of mini fort turrets. I've got the counter snipers on the other side of the system. To try to just wear them down. And there they got spire destroyers, spire rail frigates, etc. They're just not being very nice. So far, so good. And the threat count has just been rising a lot lately. I'm getting more and more the feeling it's just, it's time to go. Oh, well, we've crippled our support factory. And that this is basically what happened last time. A bunch of their destroyers just spammed, and we didn't have enough firepower in place to overwhelm them immediately, which you pretty much need. Here, they're kind of melting. Don't think I had Spartacus around either. A little bit of a bigger group here, but we're at least knocking out enough of them that we're not getting smashed. couple of recapture waves. Oh, Thanatos uh, getting crippled. So they're still causing some problems, even with all the preparation. They could have built more, but hoping this would be enough. There's these destroyers do so much damage, and they just keep on coming. Oh, look, a subjugator. Another one. Our hack succeeded. Okay. So, we are now close to the Mark IV threshold. And you never know what our good friends, this Vicari, are going to do. So for that and many other reasons, it is time to get this done. Gonna delete all of you. Now, as to the other buildings, I've built up the corruption mines and the ambush posts everywhere. But only on the key planets, like you know, the military ones, have I built these stockades. Because they take 75,000 energy each. I couldn't afford to build them everywhere and still have some energy left to use my turrets and whatnot. And then, I also called in the Zenith Trader here. We've got a mass driver, because this is still logistics. But this is the system one of the most concerned about. So, called them in. They've got a bunch of these mirror tractor arrays, which do the same thing the other mirror units do, only they're tractors. So I got those. I got the other Zenith power generator. I've got, you know, a Zenith shield, etc. to really help bolster this. So I think I'm defended about as well as I can be. They're about to hit Delta Kappa, so I'm going to send... Retribution over that way. Once it gets all loaded up here. Want to make sure we salvage that. But the others are going to go do some work for me. New station, eh? Okay. Just give you a minute to load up. Got to repair first, okay. Let's get you over here. Starting now. Come on. There we go.
Now, if you would all be so kind, we are going to make our way down here to McKee, which is where our target is. Okay, you're almost where I need you to be. There you go. You're going to handle whatever happens in here. And we're not that high on metal, but once you trigger the Dark Zenith, there's... There's some time that you have to set up. So we should be able to recover metal in between. I just need to wait to get all the way in here where we need to be. And there we go. Should be fairly straightforward in our favor here. We got some hunter in here. Are they just trying to pass through. And they knocked out our spiders pretty fast. You know what? Just in case, Saber Company. Do something useful. Yes, another Dark Spire Vengeance Strike. Things are not going to get any easier with additional passing time. I just think it's time to go. Delta Kappa in our favor. Everything is looking good. Alright, now, there's actually a bug with this. We can actually attack this, but you're not actually supposed to be able to, so I'm going to do the hacking option, and that will be fixed fairly quickly. It's just worthwhile to point that out. And hopefully everybody else will come in here to assist us. But nonetheless, I imagine we'll be able to handle this. Fairly a long hack. Six minute hack. bring Retribution back. Looks like you're headed the right direction. I'm just going to make sure you don't get caught up into too much mess. Frankly, the threat number at this point is almost irrelevant. Between all the weight our Sficari is throwing around. Okay. What on earth is going on there? They were trying to move through and they got caught. They, they got caught in the middle. Okay. That didn't go too well. Meanwhile, our hack continues successfully. following your journey. Make sure you don't get hung up in too big of a problem. It's just a slow journey for the golem getting around a bit. I mean, it has decent speed. And we are gradually recovering metal, which is also very nice. I'm not having any problems in here. It's just a matter of running through the clock, I think. So 
support fleets working on being repaired. Battle stations, rather. And all appears to be well, so if we get another three minutes of this, we'll be in business. Just waiting on the big boys, I think. Yep, just a couple systems away. Gonna get here just in time to celebrate, and that's about it. Less than two minutes. And here we are. Yeah, the hack's not even over yet. We're already up to about a third of our metal, so at least we're getting somewhat of a bankroll. And we got it. Okay. So we have a situation. Various waves coming. Five dark spire loci somewhere in the galaxy. And we get this invasion timer. So we have several minutes yet. Uh, dark spire vengeance strike, etc. This we can ignore. Let's take a look at what they have to say. So, first of all, the Dark Spire entering conquest mode. That's just where they expand, create new vengeance generators more quickly, but these won't be invulnerable. More importantly, the onslaught begins. Commander, we've detected a massive dimensional shift. It looks like several planets from another universe have suddenly come into proximity with ours, close enough to allow the wormhole grids to align. Our sensors are picking up extremely strong energy signatures. Preliminary analysis shows zenith energy similarity. A non-exact match to our relics. We're calling them dark zenith, etc., etc., etc. This looks like a major incursion. If they're functional zenith rather than just the derelicts we've found to date, we're in for a difficult war. Our leading zenith expert asked me to pass along a message to you. She seemed to be chanting, and then we have some Latin. Which I'm not going to try to pronounce horribly. So for those of you who know Latin, you can enjoy that. For those of you who don't, I will probably discuss the translation of that in the next episode. But uh, thanks for sticking with me through this. We are now finally at the point where a lot of people have been waiting for it. Which is to actually have the Dark Zenith invade. And sort of the do or die point of the game I would expect. So we'll be looking forward to dealing with that. Next time, we will need to decide what to spend our final science on, how exactly to try to combat this threat, or die trying. Which will it be? See you soon with more AI War 2, 
and the culmination of the Dark Zenith Invasion. <laughs>